All right, we're going to switch gears here and give the stage to one of the people who keeps the wheels turning at Nutshell every day. Catherine Mays is the head of customer experience here at Nutshell, leading our support team and ensuring that every one of our customers is set up for success. That means helping them understand not just, not just how to use CRM software, but also how CRM software can connect with and enhance all the other software tools in your sales and marketing operation. So which tools does your sales team need to create a seamless buying journey? In this session, Catherine is going to show you how you can integrate other software with Nutshell to manage all aspects of closing the deal, from making first contact to nurturing your relationships, and why utilizing Nutshell as a source of truth can help you generate insights that you can use to improve every element of your business. Please give a very warm welcome to Nutshell's Head of Customer Experience, Catherine Mays. Hello, everyone. It's such an honor to be here today. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be featured among so many fantastic uh, sales professionals, wonderful speakers. It's truly a, truly a pleasure. Um, so Mike, if we could switch to the uh, screen share for a moment, that would be lovely. So today, um, we're going to talk about um, how to build your sales stack with Nutshell, right? So. Uh, what I mean by this isn't that I am looking to uh, give you a bunch of recommendations about tools that you should purchase, software that you should you know, bring on board, get everyone trained up on, uh, make the budget for. That's not really my purpose today. Uh, what I would like to do is um, be sure that you are really able to uh, determine what your business needs are, uh, what they aren't, um, and uh, sort of make your way through this journey of determining what you actually need to focus on and how you can best serve your customers. So uh, our, our companies are going to, um, companies are really hooked on their software. Um, on average, we find that uh, small and growing businesses are using between 10 and 20 software tools uh, during their first three to five years of operation. Uh, that's a lot. That sounds uh, like a ton to manage, uh, a ton to focus on. Um, so let's focus on what's actually important. Uh, what do you really need? So uh, as Kristen mentioned in her uh, truly flattering introduction, <laughs> you need to have a source of truth for uh, all of the um, all of the information that you're collecting about your customers, about your prospects uh, throughout time. You're going to need to have somewhere where you can go. Uh, if you pick up the phone and there's a fire, maybe you need to save a customer. Uh, maybe a customer is looking to grow, or maybe somebody just heard about your business for the first time. The best way for you to have that information is to have a source of truth that you can go to immediately. So what I'm talking about here is CRM. Uh, that is uh, customer relationship management. That's where your source of truth may be. Um, so for those of you who are Nutshell customers watching, thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure uh, speaking with hundreds, uh, probably thousands of you over the phone over the last four years that I've been a part of this business and working on um, solving problems with you. It's been such a delight um, that you have chosen us uh, to be your source of truth. And for those of you who aren't customers, I hope that you uh, learn something in this uh, in this talk today that helps you understand the importance of having this. So there are uh, three key things that you need to consider when choosing uh, what your source of truth will be, um, and what your CRM will be. So you need to easily transfer information in and out, uh, whether that is uh, your sales reps or your administrators manually entering that information for you. It needs to be easy and straightforward. Maybe you're automating it using tools, some of which we'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, that needs to be easy as well. Like maybe you don't have the resources to set up some custom integrations, to develop some custom things. That's fine. Uh, there are solutions for you. Um, and they need to be easy and, and they can be. Um, so next, you need to be able to very easily communicate with your prospects and your customers. Um, and by that, I don't just mean the actual process of communication. I'm not just talking about those phone calls, emails, text messages, everything that gets us in the ears and the minds of our buyers, um, but I'm really talking about knowing what needs to happen next. So it, sort of both of those things are going to be important, but this encompasses both. Knowing your next move, when to reach out, what to say, what to talk about. And lastly, you need to be able to easily identify your real opportunities and follow through on them, make them a reality for your company. Okay, so 
let's talk about the customer journey a little bit. Um, and Mike, if you could show this slide, that would be that would be really great. Um, so I really like this visual. I, um, as I mentioned, I've talked to thousands of businesses getting set up, um, developing their sales process for the first time. And through those conversations, I've learned so much about the customer journey across all types of businesses, uh, whether you're a realtor, a consultant, um, the words might be different that you're using to describe how your process works from the time you first meet somebody um, far into the future of your ongoing relationship. But generally speaking, uh, most businesses can break that down into these main categories, these milestones of touch points throughout the customer journey. So each milestone in this journey is going to correspond to a software tool that accomplishes your needs and enhances their experience with your company. Um, that last bit is highlighted here because that is gonna be critical when you're looking at tools. You definitely do not want to select anything that is going to make it more difficult for a customer to work with you. Uh, this is a common mistake. Maybe it makes your life really easy, but makes it hard for a customer to get what they need from your business. So um, we're gonna make sure that we are avoiding that in all of our recommendations and all of our setup today. All right, so uh, as, we, uh, as we mentioned earlier, my goal isn't to recommend a list of software tools that you should go out and research and purchase or anything like that throughout this talk. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through each one of those milestones. We're gonna talk about some of the common uh, goals or tasks that your business actually needs to physically accomplish every day to move your prospects through that journey. So to get started, we're gonna talk about your new leads. So whether they're inbound or outbound, um, I have uh, some recommendations for both. Um, so where your leads are coming from could vary. Maybe it's a combination of things, um, but maybe they are coming to you mostly through your marketing efforts, um, through your content efforts. Um, we had some really good talks earlier about uh, the digital marketplace and all the different ways you can get your business out there. Um, so all of those leads are going to be your inbound uh, leads. And then maybe you're doing some outbound things as well. So maybe you have some sales reps out in the field actually visiting potential buyers, uh, visiting trade shows, getting all that information and bringing it to your business through the form of entering it in your CRM. Or maybe you're doing some cold calling, cold emailing. Um, so there's a lot that goes into this. But for inbound leads specifically, uh, there are... Um, some main categories of uh, things that you'll use to bring these leads to your business and to your source of truth, your CRM. So to start with, uh, lead forms and landing pages are gonna be uh, probably the most common way to do this. Um, so you'll have maybe a form on your website that somebody uh, fills in when they visit to say, hey, I'm really interested. Hey, I'd like to learn more. Here's my name and phone number. That's kind of the best case scenario, right? or maybe they're signing up for a demo or a trial based on um, a different landing page. So there are a couple of different uh, tools that we can recommend that integrate really seamlessly into Nutshell or you know, into CRM in general that you could use to make this happen and make it happen easily. Um, so to start with, I'd like to mention uh, a service called Unbounce. They provide landing pages uh, that you can design beautifully. Um, with forms built right in, and you're able to easily test and update them quickly on the go to make sure that whichever are the most successful, whichever are bringing you the most quality uh, leads or the most leads or maybe the least leads, um, you can use the ones that are working, remove the ones that aren't. Uh, and so secondly, we'll mention Wufu. Wufu is a form building tool. Um, and this is really helpful for if you need to collect information about somebody who you would like to include in your CRM and you'd like to include all that information as well. So if you're collecting demographic information, location information, um, you don't need any coding experience to set this up. It's just gonna be a simple form that you can embed on your website that will pull those leads right into Nutshell so you can get started working through your process from there. And then for our WordPress users out there, I'd like to mention Gravity Forms. So Gravity Forms is a WordPress plugin that works really well with Nutshell. Um, you set it up through an integration partner of all ours uh, called Zapier, which is free to use um, to get started with. And 
Uh, this will work in the same way. It will bring that information from your website directly into Nutshell. Okay, so we'll mention scheduling tools next. Um, with schedule, uh, when I say scheduling tools, I mean giving somebody the ability to decide that they want to schedule some time on your calendar, um, book a meeting with you. Um, so there are a couple of really great options you can use here. Uh, one really common one that we find works very seamlessly uh, with Nutshell in particular is schedule once. Um, so somebody says, I would like to book some time with you. They give you some information about who they are that comes right into Nutshell. And then another one that we actually use ourselves is called Calendly. So this tool is used similarly to just book some time on your calendar that will copy to your, um, either your Google Calendar, your Office 365 Calendar, and that information will sync directly into Nutshell. So not only will you have information about who they are, you'll also have that meeting ready to be logged so that you know that it's uh, coming up in the future and any notes that you have can be stored in Nutshell at that time. All right, and the third tool that we'll talk about is um, newsletters and mailing lists. So there are several ways to accomplish this. You know, maybe you're purchasing uh, lists of emails, maybe you're doing some work to collect emails um, through content efforts, uh, free downloads. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can build your email list um, and get people excited about your brand, about your company. Um, and so uh, one really, uh, really awesome tool, which is again, free to get started with, that works very seamlessly with Nutshell is MailChimp. Um, so MailChimp makes it easy to design beautiful newsletters. And well, once you have this newsletter list going, maybe you're sending people campaigns and then you have a call to action that says, yeah, I wanna learn more. Or, yeah, I'd like to talk to someone at your company. Um, and again, that can redirect them to of any form of your choosing. Maybe it's on your website. Maybe you're using a tool like Wufu um, or Typeform or any type of information collection form to pull that information right into your source of truth and get started on working that deal. And the last thing I'd like to mention here when it comes to a mailing list is if you already have a list of emails and you're just looking to do um, you know, some email blasts maybe to get your name out there and try to generate some inbound uh, response would be through some bulk emailing tools built right into Nutshell. Um, so a good CRM will give you a way to easily contact a lot of people at once using a template or maybe even using some personalization and even sequencing options so that if they don't respond right away, they'll continue to receive messages until they do. Okay, so that's all really exciting and we can um, continue on now to some outbound, uh, some outbound aspects of your uh, process and what tools you can use to ensure that you're collecting all this information about your valuable prospects and leads uh, really seamlessly. So if you have an outbound process, like I mentioned, you're probably doing some cold calling, um, some cold emailing, or maybe you have some reps just out and about, out in the field, meeting people, growing their networks and bringing those prospects uh, to you. So there are quite a few ways you can do this, different tools you can use. Um, you know, pretty much everyone has a, a phone, <laughs> of course, in this day and age. But um, one thing that Nutshell does to make it really easy to get in touch with people quickly is through a built-in click-to-call option. So if you are, again, generating these lists in some way or maybe purchasing them, you can bring them uh, directly into Nutshell and then just click on each phone number to make a call, um, to make an outbound call. And you can even record those calls. So if you need to reference them later, you will be able to do that. Um, in addition, uh, a lot of businesses do start with some sort of phone provider, maybe a VOIP system. So if you've already selected one, or if you're looking to select one and implement one, a couple that work really well with Nutshell are Ring Central and Kixi. Uh, these are two options that make it very easy to, again, sort of um, just click on a phone number to dial out, or when somebody uh, dials into you even, you're able to very easily know who they are, um, save some information about them, take some notes, save that information so you can reference it later and then you're good to go. So when it comes to cold emailing, um, again, when you're emailing, um, personalization is gonna be key here. So 
uh, we would really recommend doing it with Nutshell. So Nutshell integrates already with Gmail and Office 365. It's a seamless email sync. So if you like to email out of your current inbox, that's perfect. You can still store that information in Nutshell. Uh, if you prefer using a tool that offers you maybe bulk capabilities, se sequencing or drip capabilities, uh, Nutshell will provide that as well. And that will all send through your normal email provider. So it appears to be very personalized email. So that's a little bit different than sending a newsletter, which does look like marketing and maybe isn't going to generate as much of a response. And then lastly, especially for those outside reps who are um, you know, doing their thing, meeting lots of people, growing their network, uh, doing amazing things. I, there's no one I respect more than an outside sales rep. Um, we have these mobile apps that are uh, free to download and use if you're a Nutshell customer with built-in business card scanner. So you can really easily save tons of information from business cards into Nutshell on the go. You can also really easily add in information from your phone's address book or just simply type it in. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up uh, that first phase, that first milestone. Um, now I wanna talk a little bit about nurturing those prospects, nurturing those uh, contacts once you get them into your CRM. So it's gonna be really important to keep your solution top of mind um, for, um, I have hot leads written here, but really all of your leads. You want them to know your, know your business's name, know your name, know how they know you. Um, this is all information that is gonna be invaluable towards uh, making sure that they're interested in working with you, uh, hopefully long term. So to do this, and you'll kind of notice throughout this presentation that many of the tools you're gonna need are pretty similar, right? You're just using them for a different purpose. Um, so you don't need to worry about a long list of software tools. You can just uh, make sure that the ones you're using, you're really getting the most value out of. So in this sort of nurturing phase, um, maybe you have some mailing lists and drips, um, probably a little bit different than your typical newsletter or campaign, but um, that you're using to actually really show the value, especially if you know why they are interested in the first place. You can customize the way you're talking to them based on that information. Uh, personal emails, I've already sort of covered the value of that. Um, it's super beneficial. Um, really going to increase your open rate if you can reference information you already have about somebody, especially if they personally told it to you. Um, that's going to really boost your open rates, boost your response rates, help you develop that uh, brand new relationship. I like to think of it um, like planting a seed and growing into a beautiful uh, flower or beautiful tree. Um, you're going to have to water it, make sure it knows that it's taken care of. Um, your, your customers, your prospects, they're the same way. So that personal touch, that ongoing uh, drip of information from you is going to keep your business super top of mind. And then, of course, those phone call follow-ups are really valuable. Um, and then lastly, uh, we've got webinars and demos. So someone's interested in your solution and your product and the service you're providing. But having, uh, having an ability to show them, even if they're not local to you, uh, exactly what you can do for them is a real game changer in this day and age. So I want to talk about the tools that we can use to accomplish each of these. Um, so when it comes to mailing lists and drips, um, I'll talk a little bit. Um, so to reference MailChimp yet again, in this phase, you're going to use it a little bit differently. So you're not using it simply to generate interest or to um, maybe build some brand awareness, but you're also using it to really specifically move them from point A to point B. So uh, using Nutshell sales automation, you can actually add them automatically to certain mailing lists that you've designed to move them closer to making uh, the purchase with your company and then remove them from that mailing list once they've reached a later phase. So maybe you're just trying to get them to um, you know, visit a certain web page, read some information, sign up for a demo, book a meeting. You can automatically start and stop that sequence of communication. Um, using MailChimp plus the Nutshell Sales Automation. Or if you want to keep things really personal and, again, make sure that these emails look like they're just coming directly from you, they're really um, you know, unique, special emails, you can create those customizable email templates and initiate some personal sequences um, that will automatically end when a reply 
comes through to you. So again, if your goal is to get them on the phone, to book a meeting, or simply reply to your email and keep the conversation going, um, you can use Nutshell to do this for you. So you don't need additional tools for that purpose. Um, so again, if you're making those follow-up phone calls, um, we have all the options mentioned earlier, Nutshell Click to Call, Ring Central, Kixi. And I also want to throw out there that Skype is an option as well. So many people are using Skype. Um, and that also can be integrated right with Nutshell to make those calls quickly and easily. When it comes to scheduling webinars and demos, you probably don't need separate tools for uh, each of these, right? There are going to be tools that manage both. Um, so a couple of that work really well uh, that we've used, um, that I've personally used and that our team has used here at Nutshell, and I've seen many other companies use these uh, really well, is Zoom and GoToWebinar. So the cool thing you can do with these integrations is you can automatically update a contact record or lead in Nutshell when they have attended one of these demos or webinars. Um, so that information can really help you out later on when you're reporting on your leads, especially if you have a high volume and you want to see uh, what things are the most successful towards driving sales for your business. You can use these uh, updates of information of specific webinars or demos that they attended to help you measure that. All right, so now let's talk about actually making the sale. Uh, obviously, this is the um, you know, the, the meat and potatoes of the whole thing. This is what's going to be really important, the actual transaction and the uh, tasks that need to happen to allow that sale to go through. So maybe you're making a quote or a proposal and you're doing some back and forth um, and need to do some revisions and come to uh, terms and do some negotiation. Or maybe you just need to send an invoice and collect the payment or maybe you're looking to do some accounting. Um, so again, you're going to need to link all this information back to the customers in your CRM, in your source of truth. But there are some really great tools that allow you to do this easily, pulling information right from Nutshell and then pushing it back in. So um, there are a few really good tools I'd like to talk about here. The first one is called PandaDoc. They have an awesome Chrome extension that hooks right up to Nutshell. And then when you win a lead, it'll generate a proposal for you based on templates you've created, pulling that information about your lead automatically into the proposal. So it avoids needing to retype anything and it allows you to track edits to that proposal as well as have uh, e-signatures. So you'll be notified if someone has uh, electronically signed the proposal. Or you can go a little bit more low tech with this. You can simply create a template in something like Google Docs or Microsoft Word you can attach those files to your contacts in Nutshell as well. So if uh, budget is an issue, if you're not looking to grow your software stack, but you still want to be able to accomplish these important tasks, uh, that's an option as well. Just create a template for yourself. When it comes to uh, invoicing and payments, um, there are many, many uh, great, soft uh, great software tools that offer this, but the, the few I want to focus on for right now are QuickBooks Online, Zero and FreshBooks. All three of these are available as integrations through Zapier. And they'll allow you to automatically generate those invoices again upon winning a lead in Nutshell. So they've said they want to do business with you and you just need to send the invoice. It's just a click of a button to make that happen. And then uh, lastly, to talk about actual payments themselves, uh, there are, again, many different tools you could use to do this. but to focus on the ones that are going to work really seamlessly with your source of truth, with your CRM. I'll mention Stripe, which is a great one to make those payments and then update in Nutshell when the payment has been made. Or if you're uh, more of a recurring revenue or ongoing revenue subscription service, uh, a tool called Recurly is going to be really good at doing this job for you, at managing, collecting the payments, and issuing invoices on a recurring basis over time. Ooh, that's a lot, isn't it? Okay, so we're almost done. You'll notice that making the sale is only the middle of this uh, journey that we're talking about today. It's not the end, it's, it's right in the middle. It's the peak of the mountain. So once you've made this sale, you're gonna have to do some follow through. This is where you actually do what you said you do, whether it's delivering your product, 
uh, following through on the service that you're providing, working with uh, maybe working with somebody on an ongoing basis. And there are a couple of different things you'll need to do here. Maybe it's project management, um, or maybe it's more of an account management and customer success process that you're following from this point. It sort of depends on how involved, right? So maybe there's some ordering and delivery, or maybe it's just, um, again, like in a consulting model or anything like that. Maybe you just want to stay top of mind or, or work with them one-on-one -on -one through a process. Um, so we'll talk about this in a couple of different ways. I'll start with the project management aspect of this. So depending on how involved this is, again, it's something you can do in nutshell already uh, with our sales automation pipelines. So you have the option of creating additional pipelines that you can clone leads into and then follow through on all of those tasks to be sure that the customer is sticking with you. Maybe it's even a resale pipeline or a renewals pipeline. So it just goes on for whatever term of service you're offering. If it's more of a um, order fulfillment and delivery, or maybe it's some really customizable process that you're following at this point, you might want to look into project management tools. So there are a few that uh, plug right into Nutshell that are going to be really easy to use. The two I'll name today are Trello and Asana. Both of these are really excellent, beautifully designed product uh, project management tools that will allow you to take information from your Nutshell leads once they've become a customer and then follow through on all of the projects that you have with them. If it's going to be more of an account management and customer success role, again, I'll offer up the cloning leads into additional pipelines in Nutshell. And another thing I'll mention is our follow through tasks. So if you've won a deal or maybe even lost a deal in the unfortunate case, you can automatically be reminded what you need to do at that point to either keep your business top of mind and maybe win it again down the line, or to just follow through and stay in touch with them, make sure they're happy. Maybe you want to survey them later. These are all tasks and reminders that you can have set up for you already. Okay. So last but certainly not least, probably the most important is the relationship phase with your new customer and with all of your existing customers. So if you're lucky, you have all of these in nutshell already. Um, if you've followed these recommendations and used these tools, uh, everything you need will be in there. You'll be able to reference your history with all of your customers on an ongoing basis in the future. This is going to be invaluable for your customer service, for repeat business, or maybe when a team member moves on and you need to continue the relationship, uh, you want to keep them working with your business and not following your team members as they move on to other companies or maybe even competitors. So that source of truth comes in here, and I'm not going to recommend any additional tools at this phase. I'm going to recommend that you use your source of truth as your point of reference for continuing that relationship, um, for uh, keeping track of all of the important information you have about that customer. All right, so we want to tie this all together. Um, let's go back to that first question we asked. What tools do you really need? What tools do you actually need? You want to start with that source of truth. Where are you holding all of the information that you need about your customers? Uh, running a business is tough and budgets are tight and time is tight, right? We're all wearing many different hats. We all have too many things on our to-do list. So adding additional software and managing that and training your team isn't something we always want to do. So what don't we need? We want to scale down before we can scale up. We want to start simple. Hap had some really great advice earlier about keeping things really simple because that's where your success will come from. So maybe there are some things that you'll benefit from doing manually instead of automating. Uh, so one specific example of this here at Nutshell, we uh, process all of our customer cancellations manually. We don't automate that process. And the reason why we do that is because it's the best opportunity we have to learn about how we failed to serve that customer the way that they needed to be served. So that is something we could fairly easily automate make it happen at the click of a button, but we choose not to. We choose to invest the time in that 
on a manual level because we benefit from it. Um, so another thing you can do is try to be creative about how you can use tools already available to you in order to meet your needs and achieve your goals. So again, an option I provided earlier for um, building proposals or sending a quote would be to just simply use a document template or maybe in a different example, you're just tracking something you know, directly in nutshell itself instead of looking for additional tools to fulfill these needs. And then to sort of wrap up, I wanna to touch on freemium software because it's a really great option and a lot of uh, providers are giving you these tools for free. Um, so if you're able to identify a need that you have and there's a free option for it, that's a great place to start. Maybe it won't check all of your boxes, it won't meet all of your needs, but maybe it'll meet enough of your needs for now that even if it's not part of your budget right now or you don't have the time right now, you can grow into it. It's not something that you have to figure out today or tomorrow or even this month. It's something that you can think about over time as you think about that entire customer journey from the time you first meet somebody all the way until you are building the relationship and maintaining it on an ongoing basis. All right, well, that's all I have for today. I'm not sure if there are any audience questions. Yeah, and thank you so much, Catherine. I'm gonna join you on the Refill Stay too. That's all right. Oh, how great is this? <laughs> thank you so much for such a great talk. We had actually a ton of audience participation, so we have just a few questions for you. Um, I think what the audience is most excited to hear about first is the business card scanner. Could you speak a little bit more to that and where they can maybe go to find out more? Yes, I would love to. So if you are using the Nutshell mobile app or maybe you're not yet and thinking about it, all you have to do is open up the app Click a button that says, it looks like a plus sign. So plus sign, I'm gonna to add to Nutshell. Uh, choose business card scanner. You'll just take a photo of the business card. Nutshell will parse that information out for you and include it automatically in a brand new profile for that contact inside your CRM. So it's really low touch. It's just taking a picture with your phone. That's all you're doing. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah and where can cool. our viewers go to learn a little bit more about our business card scanner as well as some other integrations uh, with Nutshell? Great question. So I would recommend starting with our website, nutshell.com. We have a link right at the top to view all of our integrations. There are, um, you know, if you're not the type to get easily overwhelmed, it's a great place to look, but there are so many options, far more than the ones I mentioned today. Um, and if there is a need that you feel uh, isn't met, um, from what you heard today. I encourage you to take a look and please reach out to us also. It's very easy to get in touch with us through our website. So definitely check it out. Awesome, yeah. thank you. And we have just one more. This one's from Eleanor Kent. Thank you so much for your question. Um, she wants to know, is the Calendly integration only available for customers who are um, Nutshell Pro customers? That's a great question and no, it is not. So um, Calendly is available to anyone using Nutshell as long as they have a calendar linked up with Nutshell. So that would be uh, either a Google Calendar or an Office 365 Calendar if you're using Outlook. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really make a difference whether you're on a pro plan or starter plan that's available to anyone using Nutshell, even a free trial user could use that. Awesome, well thank you so much for your valuable insights it's been a pleasure, pleasure having you. Um, we'll be right back with uh, Charlene DeCesar in just a few moments. Mm -hmm.